Hello everyone, welcome back, it's Chuck Thunder, we're back for another episode that I'm creating for our um, teaching series here about shipwrecking, that is the topic of today's uh, video. We have been doing um, all sorts of tutorials and I felt like this was one that I wanted to get into so I went and learned how to do it and now I will be showing you how to do it. Now I've only done one shipwreck myself and I successfully did it and I want to show you what you need to do it, so where you need to get the right skills, um, how to use uh, what items you'll need to do it besides the skills, and actually how to actually complete the shipwrecking quests, or I shouldn't say quests, whatever you want to call them, activities. So um, while I'm uh, explaining some of the details, I'm also going to do some background things here. I need to stock up on my vigor here, um, so I'm just traveling to another town to get some of my vigor up. Um, but, so first things first, what you're going to want to get are all the skills for it. So there are skills that you need um, that you can supplement with items, but I don't suggest doing. By the way, if my recording seems to take a little long time to uh, show you what's going on in my game, I may get kicked because for whatever reason right now my internet connection is terrible um, and we are having some issues. So, anyways, so there are items that can supplement the skills, and then there are skills in which that um, I think that you don't want the items for. Um, I would just get all the skills if possible. If you have the skill slots, do it. Um, I had to make some room by getting rid of some skills that I just don't use. So, if that's something that you need to do, then be sure to open up the skill slots, and I will talk about them as soon as I stock up on my vigor. Gosh, it's so slow. All right, so let's take a look at our skills. So, it's going to be primarily under adventure skills here. So you will see which ones. Um, you will need the haul skill. You will need the salvage skill. And if you see that these have cell handling and rescue, you will need those as well in order to get them. Um, I also recommend having the unlock skill because you will find things on shipwrecks that you will need the unlock skill and then you'll need the tree of things but need this as well to get the unlock skill <coughs> so that's the first and foremost um, things you will need um, you don't need to have any of the other skills at the moment but they you know these, these are things in which that I also have so just focus on these skills right now you really just need haul salvage unlock and observe um, and the trees of stuff that you need underneath them. Second thing, uh, before we even, actually before we move on, let's talk about where you can get these skills. So if you're wondering where do I get haul, well you need sail handling too, which you should have that relatively quickly. And you get haul, so click locations, in Alexandria at the Adventure GM. Be sure you can get into Alexandria. You can get salvage at the Athens Martinegro character uh, NPC. And you can get Unlock also in Alexandria, Tunis, or Marseille. I picked up in Alexandria because I was there for Hall because that's where I needed to go for that. So I picked up all of those skills, made sure I had them all, including the other ones. You guys can click those and find out where you need to get them, like Rescue and Observe and all that. Um, also, I happen to be in a um, job right now that... Uh, doesn't have any of these favored, but if you have a job that can be these skills favored, be my guest, do that. Because you want to level up these skills as you do it, like haul and salvage, you'll use less vigor the higher the ranks they are. So, so those are the skills you need. You can also get salvage ropes and other things to also help. There are items, I don't know those items off the hand, but I would, would not recommend getting them. Uh, I would recommend just getting the skills. So that's the first thing. Second, you need shipwreck Mac pieces. You probably are aware of them because you've probably been collecting them and hopefully not selling them if this is the path you want to go. So by now you should have several dozen of shipwreck map, map pieces. And in order to f make a full map to know where there's a shipwreck, you need 10 of them. So every 10 makes a shipwreck map piece. Um, or should I say a shipwreck map. Uh, 10 map pieces make a map. And so, be sure to stock up on these, because this is where you will find your shipwrecks. Um, you don't need to go to a quest or anything like that. You don't need to go to a maritime guild or anything of that nature to get it. 
Also, another skill, very important skill to have, and make sure you're stocked up well on, I should have mentioned, is, where are you? Repair. You want to have repair because while you're raising ships, your ship will take damage and you will want to repair it. Um, because that's going to be important to keeping your ship from sinking while you're raising it because it'll take a few minutes to raise it and you want to be sure that you're sitting here while it's raising clicking the repair button so that's important after that though you will have pretty much everything you need in order to do it so first things first we can't use any items here but let's go back into town actually and we are going to use our Tem shipwreck mech pieces to find out what our um, um, map is so let's go click that and it used one okay so you're like okay what did that do I used the map piece now where do I go so you're gonna click on the journal go down to shipwrecks and you'll see that it opened up one of these shipwreck map pieces I don't know why I said you need ten you actually need up to however many it says that you need to open up the shipwreck so here we are we're looking at this piece alright well that's not all of them right you know we don't have enough so we're gonna open up more so we're gonna keep using these two three four five six and seven and then it'll say you finished and it'll show you the finished map. It'll actually populate it open for me. So there's the finished map. Now this looks like a lot like Spain, right? This is the uh, Iberian Peninsula. We're right here right now. So it's going to be in the waters somewhere around here. Now we don't know where they're going to be, but they're going to be somewhere around here. Uh, anywhere in these waters. Now you're thinking, all right, great. Am I going to have to sail around all of this water looking for it? Yes and no. But be prepared for a long journey on the water because you are going to be searching for it while you're out. So we are going to go out on the water. We're going to make sure we're stocked up well. Give yourself plenty of timber because you need to repair. So we are going to get a couple more things of timber just to be safe. And then we're going to get 50 more food. Actually, get 100 more food. And we'll call it a life. Be sure to be in a decent ship. Okay, um, I could change my ship, but I seem to, I mean, I could be in this ship, but what has more durability? Eh, it doesn't really matter. I could be in any of them, but we'll just go stick around with this one. We want the cargo space. Be sure to have some cargo space while you're doing it. We will have some uh, cargo space when we do this. Um, we're not completely full, so we have some space. Okay, so we are going to go out to sea. And we're not going to auto sail it. We're going to actually start to sail it on our own. Now, if you remember, the shipwreck mag piece shows even water down here. It shows all of this water down here, okay, and all of this water up here. So you're going to want to pay attention to as you change um, seas, because you're as you. Sh I don't know if you've ever noticed, but as you sail, you're screen goes black and then it comes back that's you changing seas right it'll tell you what sea you're in so right now on the current sea that we're in this one oops wrong wrong tab um, in this current tab that we're in we are in some sea directly out over here I think it's the Iberian Sea I can't I don't know for sure but this sea right now is going to be um, where we are and as you change seas it'll tell you if you're near a ship so be careful use the uh, be sure to keep an eye on that as you change um, let's see here let's if we go to maps uh, M for maps right um, you can see here there's the different seas um, the Canary Island Sea Strait of Gibraltar which we're no longer in the Labrador Sea which we're nowhere near Bay of Biscay is up there because that could be some of the waters that we're in um, no, none of those, no, not the Liguarian, not the South Greenland, not the Labrador. Ugh, I hate that it does this. Um, not the Balearic. So these are all different seas. This is the sea we're, we're in currently. So we are going to leave the sea and transition to the next sea and we are going to pay attention to our pop-ups here the blue text 
is the blue text is what's going to tell us whether or not we're near a ship uh, near a shipwreck and as you saw by our shipwreck map we are got a large section here it could be up to here and out to here and up to here it could be anywhere of these so it's it's not easy to find necessarily I mean, this may be a poor um, option but we do need to do this um, to show you guys how you know you don't always get to choose which shipwreck you, you don't get to choose which shipwreck you get so you get the one that comes up so we are going to transition into another sea here and it'll update us another thing you want to do is while you're looking at your map your shipwreck map um, see you keep seeing me do this uh, doing this triggers a red X on this map if you happen to pan over it with your mouse when you're in the right sea it'll turn a red X and give you a general idea of where the place is and so far I'm not getting that which means we're not even in the right sea so we should be transitioning out of the sea in just a minute hopefully I find this one relatively quickly transition to the Madeira open sea because that's one of the possibilities of where we might end up being I think we'll head further west here just to be sure pay attention as we transition to the next one you'll get a little ticker across the screen too to tell you which one you're in Come on, I know you can trigger. Come on. All right, so we're transitioning to a new one. We're now the, the Madeira Open Sea, and nothing seemed to trigger here in this one. So that means it's not this sea either. So we're gonna head further north a bit. No, no language here saying that we are anywhere near the right sea. So we are going to move to the next path upwards. Which, I don't know which one the next one will be, but it'll tell us what it is when we do cross over to it. It's not the Tyranian, I didn't think so. So it's a land piece. It's not the North Atlantic. It's not that one, we know that. Just looking for it. Northeast Atlantic, yeah, that's probably what we'll transition into. One of the ones. Oh, wait, here we go. Yeah, Northeast Atlantic. Alright. Is there anything triggered here? No, nothing triggered here either. Okay, so from what this looks like, that we are not in the right sea area. So we will cross back over. Now, if you're, if you're having a hard time looking for these maps, okay, you don't know where these things are you're having a hard time finding these um, X's and you don't know where your 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 actual um, C's are what you can do is you can find a map online that breaks it up by C um, and you can find the C's that way um, you can also use GVO Navish will tell you um, so let's see you do your old maps best map on my phone here you know what we're gonna skip go to my my screen here and we are gonna go to my GVO Navi there you are and we're gonna open you up full screen you okay so yeah Lisbon Madeira we're gonna go to the Bay of Biscay next these are the seas we're talking about oh I'm gonna battle 
Uh, we could battle this guy. A nice hit. Hit him again. Beautiful. Look at that. We got some... We got some fame and battle experience. So yeah, we're going to transition over to that. We're going to go over to the, um, the to the Bay of Biscay. So we checked Lisbon. We checked Madeira. We checked North Atlantic. Now we're going to go to the Bay of Biscay. If this doesn't trigger it, we might check the Strait of Gibraltar. See? Um, just because if I can tell from this map, it looks like there's a little bit of Strait of Gibraltar in here. So we might want to go look there. But even then, it's a toss-up because look at how much water it's not really showing here. So there's a much stronger possibility that it's in one of these seas. And I'm thinking it's going to be in the Bay of Biscay. That's what I'm thinking. Because last time I did this, I did one that took me to Syracuse, or just south, just, not Syracuse, just south of, where did it take me? It took me to just south of, yeah, of Cagliari, right into this area. And there's only one sea right here, and once I transitioned to do it, it told me immediately that I was, this is an area close to where you have a shipwreck, you know, it just gave me that heads up. So, we, we are just going to go over there. I'm sorry that this is taking longer than expected, but you guys need to see failure in order to see success. Because it's important. If you want to skip, um, you could skip ahead to the right timestamp, uh, where I do. Um, maybe I'll be, I don't know, I've never done it before, but maybe I'll do a timestamp for the sections of where I found the ship. That way you guys don't have to follow me along. But I think it's important to show every detail here. So we're Coming up on the Bay of Biscay on the other side of Gijon. As soon as we cross over, we'll see if it triggers a little indicator. Because there's no other seas other than these four, so um, hopefully it's going to be in that one. Let's not miss it. Make sure when we cross over, it triggers. If it doesn't trigger, then I'm going to be SOL, and I'm not going to be able to show you how it works. But this is why I say it's good to have food and water and some materials on you because you're going to need it. Alright, transition. Yeah, the ship you have targeted seems to be have sunk in these waters. So now we are in the right area. So go back to your shipwrecks. Oh, scrap of wood. This is another indicator. You're nearby. Now, be sure that you're leaving yourself an open skill slot to use a... Oops, I'm getting ambushed now. Be sure to leave an open skill slot out of the three that you could be using at once for the skill we're going to need next, um, which I will show you right now. Really? Damage my sail. Ah, great. I stole your wine. Alright, so... Anywho, make sure you leave a skill slot available open for salvage. This allows you to start dragging for looking for a ship. So this ship, my captain, scrap of wood, there seems to be a ship right nearby. And they keep saying that, so we're just going to keep on using it. Okay. Oops, wrong one. Um, also, we're going to check our shipwreck map. Because now that we're in this region, oh, see how I'm tabbing over this? And a little red X is showing up. It's in this general region. So we are going to keep on checking in this area. We are very close, I can tell. So be sure to keep using the skill. You might want to hotbar it instead of doing what I'm doing. And once you, once you snag it, your ship will stop. Now, according to me, the shipwreck would be in these waters is not as good of an indicator, I don't think, as seeing a piece of wood. So we are getting farther away. So we're going to return back closer to the water here. I'm going to keep on using that salvage skill. Okay, so now they're selling me the scrap of wood. Oh, 
telling me something else. And then you keep checking the map too because it updates when you're nearby. Actually, I think we're a lot closer to the water now. So we're going to get closer to the water again. This is the very time consuming part about this. If people will tell you if they've done these before, they'll tell you exactly where these are. I don't know if there's a person keeping track of where they are um, exactly. And I'm not sure that they spawn exactly in the same spot every time, but they do spawn in the general area at the very least. So that is my assumption. Okay, scrap of wood. We're back at it again. Okay, we sn we snagged it. So now we're raising. Okay. We are salvaging and we are taking damage, right? Now, it says shipwreck raised. It is not raised, okay? It's just telling you that it's raising raising and every time there's a triggering of saying the ship is being ra is raised and I'm taking damage look there's 17 damage and then down here you see that you're making progress the shipwreck is floating to the surface the raising process is currently 14 percent 18 percent and be sure to use your repair skill in this moment to stay afloat you will lose sailors you will lose damage this is important to make sure that you have these skills I snagged it still continuing to do this it's getting up there we're at 41% you can see how it's important to have this stuff with you because if you don't have repair and you don't have lumber your ship will just keep taking damage and you will eventually sink unless if you have more durability but I'm pretty sure you probably would still sink this is why I didn't like strife the other day that guy I watched his video where he did a shipwreck and he sunk it's because he doesn't know what he's doing and they needed someone like me to teach them how to do it. <sighs> Disappointing. Anyways, so we're still raising this wreck. We're still repairing as we go. It's 79%. And then, once it reaches 100%, your haul skill should take over at that point. Now, I don't know that you'll have to use it, but the haul skill will take over at that point. We're almost there. Maybe another one. Trigger. Okay. Now we have to use the haul skill. Click haul, and we need to sail to the nearest city. Okay, and notice now that we're hauling, you'll see this little symbol here that shows that we're hauling. Okay, so that's how you find a shipwreck, that's how you raise a shipwreck, and this is how you haul the shipwreck. And now you can see the shipwreck is following me. We're going to take the shipwreck to the nearest town, so we're going to have to go to Gijon. So we're going to have to cross over to the next sea. I'm pretty sure that'll count. If not, we're going to learn a lesson that you can't cross to the next sea when you are holding, but I'm pretty sure you can. So we have to bring it to a town in order to fully explore the shipwreck. We've raised it, and now we're hauling it. Notice we didn't have to use any items other than a little bit of wood to repair our ship. Yep, we are still hauling. So we're going to go into Gijon. Come on, catch up. We go into Gijon. And we have successfully done this. So it says, more to shipwreck to the port. Searching inside the ship is possible. Fleet members may accompany ser company searches if they are in the same embarkation point. Embarkation. Embarkation. Embarkation point. So we got some adventure experience, so good to be in an adventure job, which I am not, but oh well, I'm doing this to teach you. And then you'll see an option down here to search the shipwreck. This is the only option you'll, time you'll get to do it, so go ahead and do it if you are ready for the challenge. Now you can run into some battles here, but not in every case. And as you'll see, here we are on the shipwreck, and you're going to be looking for chests and items to open. So I don't see any back here. Even though that clearly is a chest, we can't open that, but it's these guys right here, our treasure chest. So we're going to open one. We got 66 black ore. Oh, and here's our first thief. And we got some sulfur. Now, I don't know, do we have to battle this guy? No, we can leave. 
I don't know how well we're gonna do because I don't think I have an item, a weapon with me. No, I do. We should be okay. Be ready to have a battle with the people. Um, I'm gonna take some damage, but I think we'll be okay here. Um, but just be on the lookout that you may get into battles. The higher the level the, the shipwreck, excuse me, the higher level the shipwreck, the more um, likely you'll run into thieves and other bandits and um, more difficult that they'll be. Alright, we beat them. We got a little bit of ducats. Well, congratulations, we got some food and water. And there's nothing else in any of these, so we have finished the shipwreck. So you can exit. And that's that. We have done a shipwreck. Nothing else to do. You've now raised a shipwreck and salvaged a shipwreck. Got items from the salvage. And we, uh, what did we get? We got 67 sulfur and 66 black ore. Things that you can sell. So you can get a little bit of profit out of that. So it's pretty much that's it. So let's just quickly review what you need. You need the skills. So be sure to get your haul skill, your salvage skill, your unlock skill, any observed skills or sail hitting skills or rescue skills that you need to get those skills. And you will also need from the battle skill page, you will need repair because that's what you're going to need to keep yourself repaired while you're raising the ship. Second, you will need, well I can't show you, second you will need shipwreck map pieces. You'll need somewhere between seven to ten of them in order to make a map. Once you make a map, it'll be underneath the shipwreck panel. Notice I can't open it because I don't have any of them red. But once you do, it'll show you a map. Head to the region of the water in which that, that looks like. More maps, some maps are more discriminant than others. So in this case, I was able to see that it was clearly Spain, and there was any of the waters near Spain, north and, east of, north and west of Spain, and I found that it was one of the four seas. If you don't know what sea it is, bring up a map, and you can just transition from sea to sea. Go out to sail, go to the first sea. If you're in that sea, it'll trigger and say something like it. It seems like the shipwrecks in these waters. If that's the case, then you know you're in the right sea. Then as you sail around that sea, you pay attention to what your aid says. Your aid will tell you what they're doing. Like, are they seeing shipwreck damage? Are they just telling you that they're somewhere nearby? And then also having a sh ship, um, uh, sorry, an aid in the ship in the lookout um, job will also help you find the um, salvaging uh, location for the shipwreck. Then you're going to use the savage, salvage skill once you find that the aid is saying things like what we saw on the green earlier, which is, what were we saying, scrap of wood, there's a shipwreck near here. That's an indicator that you're really close. And then once you snag it, it'll say you found a shipwreck, and you'll start meeting resistance, and you'll start raising the shipwreck percentage by percentage. You'll be repairing as you go. And then once so finally you reach the surface, you will need to repair your ship fully and then start doing the haul skill so you can haul it to the nearest city. Once you're in the nearest city after hauling, then you will explore it to be ready for battle and then get the items from the chests inside. Unlock skill will help you unlock chests inside that are unlocked or that are locked and that's pretty much it. You'll get items, money, goods, battles, and experience in adventure for doing it. So hopefully this answers your questions about how to do shipwrecks. If you need any other help on this, be sure to like uh, and comment, describe, and uh, comments in the descriptions. I'll put as much information as I can about shipwrecking uh, for you guys to read if you're somebody who cares to read more. But yeah, be sure to like, comment, and um, subscribe. And if you like more of this content, I do appreciate you guys stopping by. It's been great. It's Chuck Thunder. Take it easy.